hi guys i'm back with another video thank you so much for always coming by happy weekend to you wherever you are watching me i'm so glad to be here again with another video i'm sure you're going to have a good time watching it thank you so much uh it has to do with uh under 18 youth league in england and uh, as now today hosted crystal pillar palace under 18 and uh, it was a pulsating 1-1 one, one draw as now one as now under 18 one crystal palace one but before i go further let me welcome you to another video on this channel thank you so much if you are here for the first time i can assure you it's a channel you like to be okay please consider to subscribe to the channel press notification bell so that you don't miss out in my subsequent videos okay and also help to share the video yes and uh, to my friends and subscribers out there appreciate the love and support that you give at all time thank you very much guys watch it to the end or the video to the end give me a thumbs up and share this video if it is possible for you to do and we appreciate it greatly okay having said that let's go straight into the gist as now under 18 show resilience to secure a hard hand point against crystal palace saturday morning Brando Bailey, Joseph second abstract and sure as night came away with something from a strong contested London derby. As now started strongly with Bailey Joseph creating an early spark on the left, a whiff pass for defenders, but his slow shot was well saved by Jack Masson. Women later, Bailey Joseph tested Masson again but the keeper was equal to it the visitors crystal palace first chance came when sebastian williams delivered a pinpoint pass to tyler white on the right white fainted inside fainted inside before cutting back to his right foot but his shot skin just a inch wide of the post. Arsenal had a good opportunity to take the lead when Luis Selfie John broke down the right wing using his space to beat two defenders only to see his shot slip wide of the mark of the mark. Crystal Palace nearly made Arsenal pay when Adams Coma set up the Benema on the left. Benema's cross deflected over Jack Potter, but with Sweet was perfectly positioned to clear off the line just in time. Potter was called into action again after George King played in Williams on the right, and he reacted swiftly to push the shot away. Crystal Palace threatened once more when White shot from the edge of the box beat Potter but Cameron Ismail showed excellent excellent determination to clear it off the line Palace Crystal Palace eventually broke the deadlock just before half time as Benhamas perfectly witted cross fan Williams who headed back across the goal and fan the far corner after the interval, Arsenal maintained strong early position with Theo Julian trading a pass to Bailey Joseph, whose shot cleared the side netting at the near post. Arsenal persistence paid off as, as Arsenal found a well deserved equalizer. Casey set up Bailey Joseph on the edge of the box. And he fired a precise shot into the near post, pushing for a, win, a late winner. As Nani didn't find it when Daniel Yetunde broke in on goal from the right, from the tight angle, he managed to squeeze his shot into the side netting 
in the hand however both teams had to settle for a point the draw means as now go to 10 points from 8 games played as now the 18s are in action again coming Saturday the November 9th against Reading in the under 18s Premier League however some of the squad could be included in Wednesday's uh, UEFA Youth League tie against Inter Milan with the under 19s well that is how the match went it was a 1 1 draw against Crystal Palace in the 18 yesterday Chelsea beat Asna under 21 by two goals to one and uh, earlier this afternoon the senior team also lost by a long goal to Newcastle so the weekend has not been what the Gunner expected it's not been good for the Gunners but let's hope that the Arsenal women will ride the wrongs tomorrow as they meet uh, Manchester United women in the Women's Super League. Let's hope for the best tomorrow. If not, this weekend is a complete write-off for Arsenal football team as a whole. Alright, let me know what you think. I will appreciate your love and support. Continue to support it, support us. Okay, let me know your opinion about the matches played so far by Arsenal team this weekend, yesterday, and two matches today that didn't produce the results wanted. Okay, uh, let me know is there any way forward for Arsenal team and mean the senior team? Well, that's all I have till I come your winners time. Bye bye.